Welcome back. Today on Dialed In DIY, I'm taking a strike at boredom. Hey, these days, just like everybody else, I'm looking for creative and innovative ways to fight back against boredom. In fact, what I've been trying to do is look for things that can be made to have fun with using nothing but those things that you can find around the house. If I'm being completely honest, the idea behind this project was for the purpose of giving kids something to do to be entertained so that they didn't constantly have to be entertained by me or somebody else. It just so happens that this project turned out to be very entertaining for the whole family. While adding the red tape as stripes around the top does help them to look a little bit more authentic like a miniature bowling pin, it also has a second benefit of adding just enough extra weight to the top of the pin to help it to tip over instead of just sliding out of the way or potentially spinning in place. Just as an added little user tip, I have purchased a bunch of different kinds of duct tape in the past that were different colors for the purposes of decorating things. I found that they don't all stick very well or as well as other forms of duct tape, in which case you may want to make some thin strips of packing tape to go around the colored duct tape just to help make sure everything sticks well as you continue to play with these. Step two of this project has multiple purposes as well. It starts off by providing a little extra control to the game, but some extra consistency which helps out players of different ages as well. Yep, these days, everyone seems to be getting a lot more stuff in the mail or delivered to the home. Uh, kind of makes this next step much easier to do for free because there's a lot of extra scrap cardboard lying around. As a little add-on bonus, making this ramp can actually end up serving more than one purpose. We have discovered that the ramp works really well for launching toy cars. Kind of means I think I'm going to be experimenting with making some different size ramps to get to the point where maybe we can even do our own little version of Pinewood Derby at home too. Just a thought.
The amount of extra reinforcement that you find you might need with this particular ramp will depend upon a couple of different factors. One, the thickness or strength of the cardboard that you're using. The thinner the cardboard, the more support. But also the age and maybe general demeanor of the people that are playing bowling with you. The more likely they are to push or lean into it, the more you're going to want to reinforce it because it's just cardboard after all. Hey, just a moment ago I mentioned about the general demeanor of some of the people that might be playing with you on this. Well, I used duct tape to decorate it, but it also adds a second function for that demeanor purpose that I was mentioning before. The more duct tape you cover it with, the more it will resist having a problem if people spill drinks on it. Thank you very much for sparing some time out of your day to take a strike at boredom with me. Hope you enjoyed the video, maybe got a little something out of it. If you did, let me know by clicking that thumbs up below. I'd also love it if you'd subscribe to my channel while you're here and ring the bell for future notifications. And please remember to come on back in the future because there will be plenty more dialed in DIY to come.